Hello guys, today is Thursday 9th of April um, 2015 and time is around 6.40 a.m. London time. I'm going to continue pound dollar analysis. Uh, right now I'm watching a weekly chart. Uh, as we can see still, uh, there's a bearish candle and uh, at the bottom what we see the flex magd is still bullish and the stochastic is basically uh, you know uh, still uh, in the middle uh, and it's refused to come down and what we see at the bottom uh, the momentum still bearish right so let's move on to the daily right what we see uh, as i mentioned you yesterday uh, this trend support line the price nicely respected uh, this trend support line and you can see a bullish movement yesterday and i had again and the price nicely uh, respected if you look at a one point and second you can see the price nicely respected uh, you know this trend resistance uh, line and if you look at the Bollinger Band is squeezing, so we are expecting some big, you know, uh, movement probably any day, you know, very soon. Uh, as we can see, the Bollinger Band is squeezing. Uh, at the bottom, what we see uh, the MACD is is turned into the bullish, right? And uh, at the bottom, uh, the momentum yellow line, uh, you know, still hasn't crossed the below white line, so it still look like a pullback. Uh, with this candle, it looks like uh, you know uh, the bullish uh, is, is, is strengthening, uh, but we'll see. Let's move on to the four hour. Okay, uh, as I mentioned you yesterday and the last you know uh, day, you know this is the another support area and the price nicely respected, and you can see this candle inside candle as I mentioned you yesterday, and after that you can see the, you know uh, the bullish movement and. Uh, what do you see here that uh, the price nicely respected uh, the Bollinger Band and plus this is also a uh, resistance area uh, so and after that you can see uh, this candle inside candle and after that you can see the bearish movement okay so today and uh, like if you look at in four hour uh, that's uh, honestly that's what I'm looking a uh, breakout uh, and the target would be this flex channel or this support area. Let's move on to the one hour and plan a trade today. All right, before I plan trade, just to recap the trade I mentioned you yesterday. I was looking breakout of this triangle, and uh, I, I personally I was I was uh, you know thinking to bearish, uh, but. Uh, anyhow, oh, I need the opportunity wherever. So, uh, so then I took a trade, long trade here. When you can see this candle inside bar candle, and this is the breakout, uh, and this is uh, nicely. You know, you can see uh, turn, you know, a resistance line breakout. Uh, the good entry was here, right? And the first target, as you can see, this baseline, and you can see uh, the price basically uh, move up and. Uh, uh, here this is this is the area uh, of the first target but as I mentioned you earlier that I always go in a smaller time frame to validate this entry and then I took I took trade here and then after I took another breakout I'll tell you why I was saying breakout if you look at this fractals two area like so the one and two and if you look at here the price broken this uh, you know trend resistance and after the retest uh, there was another entry here and uh, you can see it's a very risk reward ratio point of view around about like 20 pip risk and you can see around about you know 50 pips this was the target and you can see the price nicely respected uh, the you know the flex uh, channel and plus you know this is the resistance area and after that you can see engulfing you know candle there was another short opportunity here if you look at here this is another short opportunity sh from here after this candle and this you know engulfing pad candle and the target was here right so what is the agenda for today what i'm looking today okay so as you can see uh, the pound dollar still is in a consolidation area so there's not as i don't think so is a trendy right now uh, but uh, we can you know uh, 
identify a high time frame resistance support and resistance and validate in a shorter time frame and then take a trade here accordingly so right now what I'm looking here uh, one area and this is another one so this is another uh, breakout uh, I'm looking you know uh, for today all right guys so that's the area which is I'm looking so let's see how this the market is going to perform today all right guys um, let's see on uh, if there's any high impact financial news today all right guys uh, we have um, you know few medium impact news around 8 a.m. and 9:30 a.m. London time we do have a high impact news around uh, uh, 12 p.m. Uh, London time uh, and we do have a you know 1:30 uh, London time we have unemployment claim for US uh, let's see how these news going to react uh, into the market guys I'm just want to show you uh, you know um, how basically uh, I watch the market as I mentioned I just analyzed the pound dollar and and this is a system uh, we have developed in house so that's like at the top is the euro usd at the bottom is the pound dollar and that's the area this is 5 minutes and this is 15 minutes and the 30 minutes so um i make up my mind in a high time frame and then i look at opportunities in a shorter time frame so like for example this is the 5 minutes this is the 15 minutes so if I click on it, I can see, um, you know, the clear picture. So that's the area uh, breakout. And if you if you have forgotten 30 minutes, I can see uh, that's the breakout. So if you look at if I draw a line from here to here, you can see this is another breakout while I'm looking into it. Or you can see this is another wedge breakout. You can see here, this is another wedge breakout. And uh, that's the basically uh, just to give you another, you know, uh, idea that's how I analyze market in a shorter time frame keeping in a high time frame uh, you know uh, support and resistance all right guys um, that's it for today and uh, I'll see you tomorrow thank you